Today's video is how to make a universal cable so your spectrum receiver can read total pack voltage. So let's get started. When setting up total pack voltage, there is a cable that we need to configure to get these readouts. Now, if you're using a spectrum smart battery with a telemetry spectrum receiver and an AVN ESC, it will use this middle wire here and you don't have to do anything additional. And also it will call out individual cell voltages. However, if you have an older model that doesn't have an AVN ESC or you have a non-smart battery, we can get total pack voltage from our balance leads. The part that you wanna buy, I'll link down in the description, is a balance lead connector. These come in six cell, four cell, and three cell. The difference being the connector that plugs in to the balance lead on the battery. This is a six cell version. You will notice it's got five negative wires and one positive wire. So the way you do this is you depin these four out of the center and leave the ones on the outside, the positive and the negative. You can see down here, I've already done that. On the female side, you're going to take the four out in the middle. So you see four leads here. And then on the male side, you only unplug two, the outer positive and the outer negative, which you see here. So now you're going to have a female balance lead connector and then two wires. The other side of this comes with the receiver, or if it's a bind and fly and you're wanting to add to that receiver, you can purchase this cable separately. You can see I used heat shrink tube and put them together and then plug the other end into the receiver. So the way this works is you take the balance lead from your battery, plug them together like that. And now your receiver will be able to read out total pack voltage for your flight battery. All the telemetry will come up on your spectrum radio as well. This can be done on spectrum gen one batteries or other brand of batteries as well. This won't work on a gen two spectrum smart batteries because those don't have a balanced connector. If you found this video informative or you learned something new today, go ahead and push the like button. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next one.